Hey guys, Jesse here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at Season 1, Episode 3 of Young Justice. Last time we finished off the second part of our introduction episode to Young Justice. We got the beginnings of our crew together. Our crew Robin, Kid Flash, and Aqualad all escaped the Cadmus research facility with the help of Superboy, who they've now recruited to their side. And at the very end, we were also introduced to Miss Martian. Yeah, we were given more questions than answers, though, from those first couple episodes, which is to be expected considering it is the pilot. So I'm very excited to get into this series. I have a lot of questions that will probably not be answered for a very long time. Like, who is Cadmus? Who's running everything? We saw a bunch of mysterious, blurred out, silhouetted figures last episode. And apparently... Superboy was created to replace Superman if he were to ever die or go off the deep end. So I'm just wondering who has that much power and money and who would want to clone Superman and to like what purpose. But yeah, the cold cloning of Superman. In the comics that's usually some Lex Luthor bullshit. Yeah, in the comics that's something that Lex Luthor is always up to. Creating either clones of Superman or robot copies of Superman, or going into other dimensions and finding a different universe's Superman. Just a lot of different versions of Superman. But is he going- is Lex Luthor the one who's behind Cadmus, or is it anyone else? Because the fact that it's Young Justice, you can really pull from any of the heroes' rogues gallery, which leaves the whole series really open to pick and choose who it wants to bring in from, let's say, Batman's comics versus Superman's comics, or is it going to be villains of their own creation? I'm excited to find out, so without further ado, let's jump into this episode of Young Justice. Ah, okay. I was wondering when he was going to show back up, because in the last episode he kind of just disappeared. So it's everyone together. The cage is perfect. It has everything the team will need. For covert missions. You know, spy stuff. And where do you see Superboy and Miss Martian? But I saw her first. Jesus Christ. Tell Arrow he shouldn't send boys to do a man's job. Go ahead. Can you breathe in that? You in? Pass. I'm done letting Arrow in the league tell me what to do. I don't need a babysitter or a clubhouse hang out with the other kids. Here, Junior Justice League. Is it a joke? Something to keep you busy and in your place. I don't want any part of it. Jesus Christ, man. Someone needs to lighten up. Greetings. Is there a reason you intercept me outside the cave? We hoped you had a mission for us. Mission assignments are the Batman's responsibility. But it's been over a week and nothing... You'll be tested soon enough. For the time being, simply enjoy each other's company. <laughs> this team is not a social club. No. But I am told social interaction is an important team-building exercise. Perhaps you can keep busy by familiarizing yourself with the cave. I'm sorry, I forgot he's a machine. Inorganic. I cannot read his mind. Nice try, though. So, uh, you know what I'm thinking right now? <laughs> we all know what you're thinking. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Uh, buddy, keep now, it in your pants, man. Don't look at me. We won't. The private duel <laughs> sounds much more fun. She never said private. Team building. We'll all go. Oh, Wally. We are friends. Call me Cal Durano. Actually, my friends call me Calder. I'm Wally. See, I already trust you with my secret ID. I'm like Mr. Dark Glasses over here. Batman's forbidden boy wonder from telling anyone his real name. 
Mine's no secret. It's Megan Maors. But you can call me Megan. It's an Earth name. And I'm on Earth now. So, wait, is Robin's disguise um, just glasses? Just... That's it? Because no one will ever figure out that you're not Dick Grayson, ward of famous billionaire Bruce Wayne, if you're wearing a pair of glasses. Get out of my head! What's wrong? I, I don't understand. Everyone on Mars communicates telepathically. McGann, stop. Things are different on Earth. Mm -hmm. Here, your powers are an extreme invasion of privacy. Besides, Cadmus's creepy little psychic genomes left a bad taste in his brain. I, I didn't mean to. Just stay out! To Miss Martian, an emergency alert has been triggered at the Happy Harbor power plant. I suggest you investigate. Covertly, I'm sending coordinates. Received. Adjusting course. <sighs> Tornado's keeping us busy again. Well, a simple fire led you to Superboy. We should find out what caused the alert. I think I know the cause. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a test. Don't know much about Red Tornado, but I'm guessing one of his powers is Tornado. And if that's true, this might just be a test. Tornadoes common to New England? Robin! <laughs> he was just here. I love the fact that he just disappears and you just hear his laugh. Oh, no mind. Who's your new friend? Didn't catch his name, but he plays kind of rough. My apologies. You may address me as Mr. Twister. Actually, red tornado then. And that's supposed to make it right. You tricked us into thinking Twister was red tornado. She didn't do it on purpose. It, it was a rookie mistake. We shouldn't have listened. You are pretty inexperienced. Hit the showers. We'll take it from here. Stay out of our way. Yeah, because like if you wouldn't have said that, you would have gone. It would have would have gone just so well. I was just trying to be part of the team. And that you saved your life, you know. The team really needs your help. If I intervened, it would not be to help. Still, it is an odd coincidence that this twister shares my elemental abilities and my immunity to telepathy. Hello, Megan! Oh, you ride your utility belt? Never leave home without it. First thing Batman taught me. Yeah, right after never go to the bathroom without it. Listen, okay, but now you're just now using it? All of you. Have you had this entire time? I know, and I know I messed up, but now I'm very clear on what we need to do. Please, trust me. Remain 
This man's creepy. He's got a creepy mustache. That's suspicious. You gonna apologize? Well, okay. There was an attempt there. Okay, that was season one, episode three of Young Justice. So yeah, it looks like Speedy isn't actually going to be joining the actual team. He is just too cool for that and just too angsty, so he's going to continue just doing his own thing. And we got a lot of uh, Miss Martian's character this episode, which makes sense because she wasn't in the first two at all. She's very cute, if not very naive. And I don't know if that's just because of youth or the fact that she's literally from Mars or a combination of the two. Yeah, but the uh, group has a long way to go before they're ready to start taking on missions proper, I feel like. Because I feel like every team-based superhero TV show always has to have an episode where they have to learn to work together for the first time. So at the end we got another hint at another mysterious villain. So whoever sent out the robot is trying to come after Red Tornado. It'll be interesting to see how that intercepts with the Young Justice and how they get caught up in all of it. Because at the end, obviously, the Red Tornado says, I'm not going to deal with your problems, but I don't want you to deal with mine. So how do they get roped into that? Um, and does this have to do with Cadmus at all, or is this its own separate thing. How many evil scientists with a vendetta against a very specific superhero are we going to have in this show? So that was my reaction to season one episode three of Young Justice. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.